This is the video shoot for 7111 Eunice. Have an older split level home. Looks like masonite siding, masonite lap siding on the exterior of the home with some rock um, ephus on the front. Have a nice corner lot. It's just the view with the lot. It's the front yard. You can see up and down the street. You have a completely fenced in backyard. It has an older chain link fence that uh, could use some attention in a couple of spots. Get a view of the rear. In the rear you have a building that looks like it's about 15 by 20. And then a large yard and again you can see the adjacent homes. In the back you have a walkout flat patio from the lower part of the home. All the gutters seem to be in good shape. And of course you have an older heat pump that is secure. The soffit and face aboard seem to be in good shape considering uh, the age of the home. Same on this side. There's very little landscaping to this home and you have one corner that has some water damage that just is replacing about a three foot piece of the soffit and maybe that section of the corner board or the fascia board on the corner as well. All right, front stoop looks to be in decent shape. We're gonna enter the home now. Front door seems to be in fine shape. There doesn't seem to be any water damage uh, along the trim or the sill. As we enter the home, this is the main living room. As you can see, most of the walls look to be in pretty good order. You'll see a couple of spots where the previous tenant had attempted to hang some things. Looks like vinyl blinds through most of the house. The carpet seems to be in good shape. Very little stains or anything of the sorts. Walking upstairs to the upper level. The first door to the left is the guest bathroom. And in this guest bathroom, again, most of the walls seem to be in good shape. It doesn't seem to, that there's a paint repair needed. One issue is going to be with this particular tub and shower. The water faucet works just fine, however, when you turn the shower part on, you get no water coming out of the shower. Okay. <clears throat> Continuing down the hallway and into the first bedroom across the hallway. Again, walls are in fine shape, just uh, some bold colors. The doors in the home are all a Holocor Luan. There's a linen closet in this hallway as well. Bedroom number two. Same thing. Bold, dark colors in the bedroom. And there's some things on the wall here that will need a little attention. That's just some spackle and touch up paint. There. The blinds in this bedroom definitely in need of replacing. And you see the closet. 
and heading out into the master bedroom. We'll give a scan of that. Closet door. All right. The doors are missing off of the double closet. I'm told by the tenant that they are downstairs being painted. And then, of course, you see the rest of the room. I'll give one more panoramic shot of that. Okay. Then back around, entering into the master bath. See, all of the flooring seems to be in relatively good shape and good for a rental property. You have one spot here that, to give a reference, is about the size of a, a man's hand. It's where the tub itself, the tub flange, uh, the mounting flange has popped loose out of that and just needs a little attention there. Everything else in this bathroom seems to be in good working order. All right, we'll head downstairs into the kitchen. Here you see attic space just above the stairs. All right, guys, I'm going to make you all famous now, right? Yeah. All right, into the kitchen. See good uh, birch cabinets. You have white appliances. There are two refrigerators or a refrigerator and a freezer in this kitchen. There you go. Dishwasher. And all right, we got help now. We got Vanna White working on it now. All right. Gas range. Spot here. Just up under the sink, we have a leaky spot under the kitchen sink. And then above the stove, there you can see a spot in the ceiling where either there was a previous leak, uh, the tenant told me that there was a hole in the ceiling, and they came and patched that, and then you have an over-the-range microwave vent hood. Scoping around to a dinette area, and then down into the lower portion of the split-level home, you find the den. It's four steps to the bottom and you have fireplace and then just a panoramic view the door leading outside and then you can see back up into the kitchen dining room area and then a spot where it leads into the lower part of the home that gets us into the utility room and I'll have to turn a light on here Into the utility room here, you see a gas water heater that looks relatively new. And then, of course, you have your air handler in here as well. And the next filter change is a little late. All right, continuing through, you've got a bathroom on the lower level, a third bathroom. So of course you have your sink and your cabinets. On the toilet you don't have the mechanical parts. It looks like it's just missing the handle but there's no water inside of that toilet so it looks like it is inoperable at least at the moment, the current condition. And the tub looks fine. You see a couple of holes above the toilet where some brackets had been mounted and that of sorts. And the floor is a, a good looking and solid tile floor. And then last is just another room off of the lower half of the split level with a door leading out into the side yard. Overall, house is in relatively good condition considering its age and the fact that it is a rental property. All right, that is it.